speaking of alpha code and open sourcing, we now have alpha codium. It's open source, single click, and is claimed to beat alpha code 2 without fine tuning. All the relevant links will be in the description. But there's another reason why I bring it up in this video, not just that it's brand new and state of the art, but it's also that same theme of LLMs proposing solutions and iterating based on feedback from the environment. In this case, code unit tests. As Andre Carpathy puts it, we are moving away from that naive prompt to auto-regressive token by token answer, where LLMs like GPT-4 are forced to put out immediate solutions. It's becoming more like a conversation between LLMs and their environment. In my own tests for SmartGPT 2.0, I'm discovering the same thing as the authors when they say this, try to avoid direct questions and leave room for exploration. Or well, the way I would translate that is that if you force an LLM into an immediate answer, it will then pick an answer and then stick to it. It. it values fluency over accuracy. So what's the answer? Try to avoid those direct questions. Encourage reflection. That's probably why chain of thought works so well. Here's a great summary from Santiago on Twitter. First, Alpha Codium gets the LLM and its model agnostic to reason about the problem. Describe it using bullet points and focus on the goal, inputs, outputs, rules, etc. Then make the model reason about the tests it would need. Generate potential solutions and rank them in order of correctness, simplicity, and robustness. Now generate more diverse tests for edge cases. And here's the key step. Pick a solution, generate the code, and run it on a few test cases. If the tests fail, improve the code and repeat the process. I can't help but notice that this is eerily reminiscent of some of the prep work I did for SmartGPT. I won't go through it now, but what it involved was commanding the model to not output a solution immediately. In fact, I wanted it to generate mistakes that students might make. Then I would force it to come up with test cases. And the rest of the steps I might cover in another video, but it was that same approach. The same idea, don't get the model to output an immediate answer, delay that as long as possible and first generate test cases. It's almost like you're forcing it to reason logically. And yes, in case you're wondering, this works amazingly for mathematics. Here are some of the results of AlphaCodium compared to direct prompting across a range of models.